Quick sound check. Three, two, one, one, two, three. Well, morning. Haven't filmed in a while. So I thought I'd give it a go this morning, 2nd of August 2021. Haven't been out in about a week and a half because of the weather. So uh, I might talk a little bit about the weather today. But, uh, and by that I mean weather in general and what's, what's happening. But today we've got the Nitro 200. Um, she's doing well. Very happy with it so far. We've got a three, four knot um, westerly, which is pretty good. And we've got the Hadron 3 laid out on the field, ready to go. Consuming, and uh, 
uh, we're putting unmanageable levels of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and um, potentially causing a tipping point. And we start to see that in the weather, in America and Australia, depending on the time of the year, you see forest fires causing absolute devastation. So it really is the challenge of our generation. So obviously I do appreciate that when I'm talking about the environment, I'm talking about consumption, I'm flying around on a petrol power motor. I get it. I am certainly, if I could afford an electric car and if I could find a viable electric power motor as soon as um, I'm already committed that my next car will be electric. But that might be a while yet. Just down here we have National Trust site, Epworth Hall. of maize which doesn't seem to grow very well here so I wonder I presume it's used for farm food. The wheat? A lot of wheat. Leaves a vortice, there it was. I just flew through it. So when you fly through your vortice, you just tend to get, if you're not ready for it, it can be quite unnerving. You get a little blip in your wing, a little, uh, sometimes a little tuck, but generally it's quite minor. If you've got uh, plenty of speed in your wing and plenty of pressure, it's all right. So this is one of the best things about flying in the morning. boundaries because of hidden pylons although I do know that field so I know there's no pylons there but field boundaries can hide pylons and pylons are not good for me obviously
Saver Hill. Just flying over this uh, 1100 feet. Nice and high. Looking good this morning. So I'm doing a bit of a big triangle. I was going to head over to Newmarket, but decided instead I'd head south. Did a bit of obviously a bit of field flying, low flying. So Haverhill, and then I'm going to turn east and I'm going to head over to uh, Sudbury. It's a nice sports facility down there. Looks like a big uh, tennis court, hockey, 3G floodlit pitch. 9 by 9 football pitch, rugby, very nice. Presumably school, it must be a school. Look at that, the fire has absolutely destroyed that. Oh my god. That is horrific. That is a bad fire. Goodness me, poor people. That is just ripped through. Oh, dear me. This is the village of Clare. Now, I say it's a village, I'm not sure if it is. Or a town. I guess it must be a town. But the fact is, it's got one of the biggest churches for a town I've ever seen. This is it here. I mean, it looks like a cathedral. It's certainly the same size as some cathedrals. So someone, at some point in time, I'll look up the history. But had a lot of money, a lot of power, a lot of influence built a big church. And there you go, this is our church. So this red factory that you can see just below me, that's a malting, so it's malting barley, probably for Green King, I would imagine, which is, that's the British sugar, Green King is the other big uh, producer. I've got the lovely smell, the beery smell of malting barley, oh it's lovely. Mm. <laughs> Coming in, so I'll put the trims in. We want the trims on three for long then. That gives you the best glide performance. Coming across the A14. Really lovely flight today. So this new distribution center has been built since I think March, April they started building it. Oh look, loads of guys on the roof. Still finishing the roof. But it's absolutely huge. And no, I don't think it's going to be Amazon. I think it's going to be something else. Blimey, there's a lot of workers on the roof. The concrete slabs being laid out here. Look at that. There's a depth of concrete being laid. So I'll go down, see what the wind do, because the wind has changed since I took off. The wind is now southerly, it was a westerly. So I'll do a loop over, check out the guys, you see, oh it's an ultralight lightning. Whatever that is. So that is a sub-70. Sub-70 
170 means it has to take off. The total weight of the machine and take off has to be below 70 kilos. Get out and have a little landing. <sighs> do, do, do. And we oh, 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 nearly slept. Nearly slept. But then. Uh, lovely. I was trying to slide her in. And then got a little bit slippy because the grass is still a bit damp. Well, I'd go so far as to say that was one of the best flights this year. Just because conditions were so stable. I got up and I had loads of choices. I could really go quite a lot of places today. Wasn't really constrained by the wind. It's handy when you've got a cross country wing that gives you the speed and freedom to go wherever you want. Really quite gusty now. Alright, great flight, great day.